Well, in terms of quadcopter crashes, that's what it's all about. That there, the tree you can see in front of you, it's uh, only got leaves moving. There's a light breeze. Uh, but the last one, that was actually a mild wind. It was somewhere near 7 metres a second when it had to be put down 200 metres away. So the tree that I'm after is over there, uh, right in front. I'll just point that down a bit so that it's possible that wasn't showing last time when I was pointing that direction. So you just have to, that's the tree in the distance there. It's about 100 metres with the sheep underneath it. Uh, with a full battery as this is, it's possible to fly out to it. But the flight that crashed 200 metres away uh, was going three and a half minutes before that occurred. Now it's back to a light wind and all of the trees around in the distance uh, don't have the problem of their, the tops of them waving around, which indicates it's like something like seven at that sort of point. Right now it's only about three metres a second. there